This is Transformers Universe uh, Deluxe Class Long Arm. Um, he's been packaged in a five pack uh, with other deluxes from the Cybertron Transformer Cybertron line in a Sam's uh, Sam's Club uh, exclusive gift pack. Now this figure was originally released as a Cybertron figure under the same name, Transformers Cybertron Long Arm. Um, I recently just got this one off a, a local toy convention actually here in Manila and I thought I'd just share it with you guys. Just a quick review on this figure. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Cybertron figure, you know, um, the predecessors of the more modern Transformer figures. Um, but these figures, uh, the Transform the Cybertron figures really had something going on. I mean, the designers of Hasbro were really on the right track with in terms of articulation on the figure. Uh, it's a very asymmetrical figure, as you can see. He's got some limited articulation. His shoulders can go in and out because of transformation. He can ratchet forward and backward. The arm, the long arm, or the big, his bigger arm, can rotate 360. Uh, and has the cyber key gimmick, which if you remove the cyber key, you can't sort of move his arm. But if you add, if you put in the cyber key, uh, you can push on this lever and it extends his arm. Not the best gimmicks in the world, but uh, it is there. His head is on a ball joint. The other arm also has uh, in and out shoulder action and ratcheting uh, forward and backward shoulder action. He's got a bicep swivel, an elbow, and posable fingers with minicon ports everywhere. Well, just these two at least. Um, okay, he's got a waist swivel, a uh, ball jointed hip, ratcheting knee, and some ankle action because of transformation. So that's that. Uh, I was really just attracted to this figure because of his asymmetric uh, silhouette. Uh, I was looking to really buy him uh, uh, for the longest time but I didn't, I didn't really find the price. Now I found him as an out of packaging figure in the toy convention and um, just went ahead and, and, and uh, hackled, well, really asked for a lower price from the collector and he, he gave it to me for around, I don't know, seven bucks I suppose. So there, seven dollars equivalent. So transform him. Uh, what you want to do is rotate this arm, fold it in, put it forward. Uh, for this arm, you want to open up the hands, just rotate, rotate it here and just leave it like that. Um, then what you want to do is just fold up the head, rotate the head and fold it, tuck it down nicely. And for the legs, you want to go ahead and fold out the feet, fold up the toes, um, and I'll point it forward, and then just tab it in. Same with the other leg, and fold the feet back to form the treads of the crane or the shovel. And there you have long arm in his uh, power shovel, I, I suppose, or semi backhoe. Uh, alt mode. The gimmick still works if you keep the key in. You can sort of extend it that way. What's nice is if you extend it that way and you remove the key, the arm stays extended. Well, sort of extended. And then you put the key back in, it retracts. So very nice. Um, if you're still interested in this figure, I suppose you can get it online or you can buy that I suppose that whole Sam's Club exclusive uh, gift pack, but uh, it can't. It came with other Cybertron figures, which aren't that really great, except for Optimus Prime. So, anyway, just sharing with you guys, Transformers Universe slash Cybertron Long Arm. Thanks for watching.